Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this is one we've been waiting for. Let's see. Let's watch Anderson bowl first of all, though. Wheeling round the pavilion behind him. Four slips, and Anderson's on his way. Dipping his head. Here he comes now. Bowls to Morris. Oh, he's beaten. What a lovely ball that was. Ooh. And it's taken by the keeper to end the over. Right, here we go. Ah, it's not what... It's not what I was thinking. This is a statistical, not very good at these, press release. Further to the recent request from the South African government, the ICC has now considered the question of downgrading the status of all statistics, including runs and wickets from the series played between England and the rest of the world in 1970. The ICC agrees, it's quite interesting, agrees that the series has played against the spirit of the Den Eagles agreement and that in the interests of keeping cricket free from political interference, bit of a mouthful, all matches will be removed from first-class records. That's ridiculous. David Richardson, chief executive, says clearly this will not prove popular with those cricketers whose records will now be amended, but we're looking at the bigger picture. It's quite serious, isn't it? Let's watch um, Roland Jones. In the sunshine, past the umpire, in he goes, bowls, and that's turned away out towards mid wicket. A couple here for Elgar. No, in fact, he only gets one. Uh, Peter Hain, who was on the programme recently, the long time anti apartheid campaigner, has hailed it as a great day for cricket <laughs> and humanity. <laughs> I'm sure the players involved will take it on the chin. For more details, contact me. Well, I, wasn't, I was not expecting that. That's a loaded and tripe. What are you going to do with that? Well, that's that, first, what does that mean? That's the first time I've heard of that, that's for sure. These... They're not, they, weren't, they weren't test matches, were they, those guys? Well, yeah, they, they were played as test matches at the time, but were subsequently ruled not long after that as not being test matches. Well, they were ruled in as test matches, for test yes. match statistics, for a, I don't know how many, a couple of three years or something. Then goes Roland Jones, and he bowls, that's clipped away off an inside edge, there's runs here, probably four of them, yes there is down to the boundary. Then they were taken out. Then they were taken out. So, right. And I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Be, but then, when Australia played as world champions, the rest of the world, and the ICC picked the team for the rest of the world, they included That'd them as test matches, matches because yeah. they were getting lots of money from sponsors. Now, it's either all in or all out. Yeah. I have no problem with being out because there weren't two test teams, you know, two sure. nations. But, but this is this is they're taking away first class status from the crazy. Thing. That's ridiculous. So what is ridiculous? So yeah. who what happens with that then? Oh who, have to who? change the database, won't be, but it's you know, they do they are ridiculous the way they change yeah. things all the time. In goes Roland Jones, and that's uh, prodded away into the offside. Politics, isn't it? Yeah. How many games how many games were there in the current five at the same five. Time, yeah. It's politics to interfere with it. Mm. And because they're talking about politics taking them out. Yeah. But if, if <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nonsense, isn't it? Who played? Who played? Uh, Alan Jones opened the batting. Alan Jones, of course, he got the pair. Did well, he open with you? you, you, you no, played. I didn't play till the fourth test. I played the fourth and fifth. Right. And I wasn't. Uh, so they don't count as first-class well. matches anymore. <laughs> well, that's silly, isn't it? First-class umpires, first-class players, some of the best players in the world were played. So that rest of the world side is yeah. a fantastic team. Then goes Roland Jones, and uh, that's pushed away by Morris. And it's all you do with me personally, but just to say it's not first class yeah. is nonsense, isn't it? So all those records well, have been... Great players, as, as Geoffrey saying, from Sobers, Sobers and Pollock had one particular partnership you can look at on oh, YouTube. Fabulous. Sobers and Pollock betting together, can you imagine fabulous. that? Fabulous. So those, those hundreds won't count? Oh, that's ridiculous. It really is. I mean, and there was Eddie Barlow, got four wickets and five balls, all sorts of things happened in that series. I mean, they're not first class. I mean, I have no problem with no test matches. And no. But the other one in Australia, Australia versus the rest of the world, should not be test matches then, but they kept it because they picked the side. Here's Roland Jones, and that's driven nicely down to mid on. And there's no run. It's so, an anomaly, isn't it? You know, it's either all in or all out. Yeah. You know, but they just pick, I mean, so to be clear, does that mean that these are now retrospectively scrubbed? So all these stats from those matches now will be gone. Yeah, will well, be gone. I mean, I suppose. And so we'll, it's backdated. Yeah, we'll have to take them out. I suppose we'll. I suppose we'll have to see what the Association of Cricket Statisticians and people like that say as well. Well, they should say no. We're not going to. It'll be. It'll be another little argument, won't it? Yeah. Hmm. But if they're backdated, then. Yep. Everything subsequent to that is also so it goes down by one, as it were. Or it may be. Here's Roland Jones on off stump, and uh, has pushed away out the point. It would do, actually, Jeffrey. Yeah. You got a hundred in that series, didn't you? There. Uh, the last match here at the Oval. I only played two tests, though. 
So there'd be a bit of a problem there if that's taken out. Because, Not really. Well, it, it wasn't a test match hundred anyhow, because it, it was it was a test match, but then it was taken out by the ICC, so it never was a test yeah. match. But I think I see what what Eggers is alluding to here, because your hundred hundred would now become your ninety ninth hundred. Well, isn't it ridiculous? No, I mean, that's completely ridiculous. It's right. You're right to him. He's an idiot for putting that out. I, I mean. And he just, you, it's, that is politics alone because you've got a, a black government in South Africa asking them because of politics to take it out. And cricket should say, hey, they're saying we're not getting involved in politics. Well, and that's what they should be saying, shouldn't they? Well, all, not is, Peter Hayne and the is, South African this government. Is, this is remarkable. 187 for six. So, that, so like Jeffrey's <laughs> instance then. <laughs> exactly. So like, well, the others, there might be others have got hundred yeah. and other records that you'll have to... But yours was at Headingley, it was special, it was... Of course it was. You knocked out all those plates, commemorative <laughs> plates. Here's Roland Jones. <laughs> I Ed didn't Anderson knock them out. Outside the off stump, and there's no... But they were, they all were those knocked things. out, as you said. I, I mean, know. that's how daft it is, isn't it? But does it matter? Well, well, where, 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 well hang on, say this is real then, Andrew. Where was... which one was Jeffrey Boycott's proper, authentic, Hundred, hundred. Well, the one after that. Where was that? Timbuktu. <laughs> I said probably Timbuktu. Nobody knows. In comes Anderson, running in hard, bowls, that's pushed away into the offside. Oh, we sent back there. Sent back and Bowen comes into field. Hmm. Well, this is extraordinary. I was trying to think. That was... Samuel Hassan. 11th of August, 1977. So famous. And that, was the hundred, that was the hundred. Yeah, that would have been... Wait. So where did Jeffrey Boycott really get his 100th 100 then? Your next 100? You're not going to like this. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not bothered. Because, um, I just think he's daft. United Bank Limited on a tour match. It, it, Faisal bat on the Pakistan Oh, tour. yes, they got one in Faisal bat, yeah. Wonderful. Well, that's your 100th 100. Well, in comes Anderson, bowls outside the off stump. And Elga every... lets it go. Well, well, a much better place, isn't it, Faisal bat, and to get your 100th 100? What's huh? about, what about all these plates and caps and bats that you've signed? And... I haven't what signed What are you going to do? You? Muppet. But uh, nothing. I just think it's wrong for everybody, that. It's just silly, isn't it? It's politics. It's politics. No, it's a great day for cricket and humanity. I'm sure the players involved will take it on the chin. That's one of the quotes. Yeah. Well done. See what look, people say. Wow. In comes Anderson. Poles. That's pushed uh, down towards mid-off. And hang on, they're being serious in this, because there's, but what, what date was Jeffrey's 100th 100? 11th of August, 77. 11th of August, 77, that's right, yep. So that's coming up. We've, uh, we haven't got anything planned for that, have we? We're not doing anything special, are we? We are, actually. We have to, have to can it. We're having a do at our house, 180 people. We're raising money for the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. We're well, going to cancel it. We're not cancelling it. It's all sold and done. Oh. I'll put it this way. Samuel Hassan and... Mm. In comes Anderson, and bowls the, outside the off stump. Will not get no an invite. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. But you can't celebrate your 99. And Dave Richardson, the chief executive, I love you, Dave, but you won't be getting one either. But you can't celebrate your 9900. No, we're celebrating it because it's nonsense. That's it. Just silly. There'll be other people as well. I know. After, you know, the words, there's a two or three after me got 100 hundreds, isn't there? I mean, theirs will be. I mean, you yeah. can't go changing this to just like that for politics. It's for politics. It's Anderson outside the off stump. And uh, there's no stroke from. Dean uh, Elgar. Well, because actually you invited me to that dinner. I but, did. But you invited me under false pretenses. No. The, way, the way you're carrying on now, you're definitely not getting an invite. Well, you've already invited me, but it's not... Well, I'm taking it back. It's, it's under false pretenses. It well, wasn't at the time. I, must admit, I, was, not, I was not expecting that. I mean, that, that's going to... Well, he really gave you something to talk it's about. It's a mess, isn't it? It's yeah. a mess, isn't it? It's an absolute mess. Well said, Andrew. Yeah. It's also a complete wind-up, Geoffrey. And after thoughts from you, then it'll be to me. Is that right? You muppy. You. It's never. Is that a wind-up? You muppy. Agnew. I'll get you for that. You. Well, you've done me a few times, but that's the biggest one. You c Oh, he's enjoying that at the back. I'm keeping this. I hope my rates will be listening to this. You'll be laughing. You've done me easy, haven't you? Like a kipper. It's not difficult, he says. 
good letterhead, actually. After Get off it. I don't want any more about that. It's a good letterhead. International Cricket Council, Samuel Hassan. <laughs> Broad's getting ready to have a bowl. They're not going to take his record. Never away. mind, Broad. I'm just still reeling from this. If you want to take, Andrew, a, moment, you you want to take a moment that? to compose yourself, Geoffrey, that's fine. Broad is in, and Morris plays a nice back drive to extra cover, and there's no run. I haven't actually seen this, Geoffrey. Not having oh, come it. on, share it, Geoffrey. Not having it. Oh, that can't be true, but it is. I looked at it, and I said to...